Hi guys, um, Nessie here. Uh, so um, I've done another December daily that I would like to show you. This is going to be the last Christmas one I do this year. Obviously it's getting a bit close now. So um, yeah, I wanted to show you this one. It's a lot different to anything I've done before. This is more of a flip album than a junk journal, I suppose. Um, I've used the same stuff. I used to do my last one but in case no one saw my last one I will run through it so I couldn't find a kit a gnome kit that I liked um, really wanted to do a gnome journal didn't couldn't find a kit that I liked so I um, made up my own scrapbook elements with some clip art images so I used a um, paper pack called Christmas Scrapbook by Jen Reed Designs. I used a Gnome Clip Art set by Watercolour Nomads. I used a Christmas um, clip art set called Sweet Christmas Col Watercolour Clip Art by My Cute Doodles. And I used Christmas Watercolour Letters and Numbers by My Waterhouse graphics i will put a link to each of those shops in the description below now this um december daily was inspired by um a youtube site called scrap and coffee and about a year ago she did a um a flip book type december daily and she did it as a kit and kind of like a tutorial thing um which she sold on her etsy site but it, uh, she doesn't actually have it for sale anymore so i watched her construction videos and in the construction videos she doesn't give any measurements or stuff like that because i'm assuming that goes in the kit so i kind of had to make up my own measurements and work out how to put it together and stuff like that but it was inspired by her i will put the link to the um her youtube channel in the description below but if you want to make one it's going to be a bit of trial and error because you are going to have to work out kind of your own measurements and how she's put it together and stuff like that but i managed to do it and if i can do it i'm pretty sure most people could so anyway um yeah this is a flip book it's a ring binder flip book it's a december daily so there are um 12 pages in here not 24 there's 12 but um i'll do a flip through and i'll explain it as i go through so it is a hard chipboard cover it's got a decoupaged napkin image on the cover that's been decoupaged onto um music paper there is a wooden merry christmas sign on there and a little felt um scandinavian type heart i've also put a little tassel that's been joined with a um eyelet with some little min it's just bells really but that i quite liked them i do like the sound of jingle bells and that's just attached on the side um there is a spine it's a card spine and then on the back it's again a chipboard cover as you can see, this is how it's joined together with these ring binds. And um, on the back here, I haven't put anything in it, but um, let me get something that I can use to show you. That'll do. There is kind of like a little ghost pocket here. So if you wanted to put little scraps or odd photos or bits you can slip them in there it's just like a little ghost pocket or you can just leave it and not use it at all okay so it has an attached enclosure of two ribbons that just tie and bow them and tie them now i'm going to do my best to keep this in camera but because it's a flip book it's quite long let me give you the measurements first so it measures roughly six and three quarters by roughly eight and a half, I would say. And it is about 
two inches thick wide roughly give or take so yeah it's going to be it's quite long so the, the front cover lifts up like so i'm going to put it sideways because it might be easier and it will lie flat like that if that's i can't actually see if that's in camera so i hope that that's in camera but it lies flat like that let's move that out of the way and then as the pages flip they lie flat like so that's just to show you how it fits because I don't think I'm going to fit it in camera this way. So on the front underside of the cover, there are two pockets. It says Christmas magic. They've been decorated with um, fussy cut images and some tissue paper. Inside each there is a card. This one says magic. And a journal spot on the back. This one, um, again, fussy cut image, it says believe, journal card on the back. So you've got two front pockets, top pockets, should I say. And then we come to the pages. So there's one side for each day of the month. This one only goes up to the 25th. I did not do it to the 31st, this one. Only goes up to the 25th. Each page has a pocket on it, which obviously you can add extra stuff to, and will have a journal card that is double-sided. So it gives you enough writing space or so on. You can then tuck photos in. You could attach photos to here. You could even journal on there if you wanted to. And each page is numbered. So this is number one. It has a crisscross pocket says i'm dreaming of a white christmas with a little sleeping gnome the journal card the front of the cards i have put um a fussy cut image and the back i've left plain so that's just a little rabbit with north pole on that one and then you flip it up and you get your next page at the top here the other good thing about this um, flip book and the fact that it's ring bound is that these actually do undo. So you can undo them. You can take your page out and you can work on your page on a flat surface, do your writing, your photos, whatever it is you want to do. And then you can just slip it back in and close it up because it's it's pretty much a ring binder but in a flip book type i did it a flip book because um i just want, i liked how she done it on her youtube video and i wanted to kind of just do something a bit different so yeah so this is page two here we have a long bottom pocket there is an image of a pig in a barrel it says i love christmas here's your number two the journal card has a large snowman's head on it and it's plain on the back. Then we come to page three, which has a belly band on it. There's a belly band. The belly band flips down so that there is a journaling spot there. Um, and in the belly band, you have your journal card, which has a cup of hot chocolate with a candy cane on it. And there's your number three. Then we come to page four. Here's your four. This has got a tag tuck spot with a rabbit and a North Pole sign on. And on the journal card, there is a stack of presents and plain on the other side. Uh, page five. Has a top tuck with a frosty snowman on it with a journal card with a little gingerbread man. Then page six has a um, side pocket, uh, ribbons and bows with a little gnome with a bow in his hat. This is page six and journal card has some bells on it then we page seven has a large corner 
pocket it's got um wrapping presents there's a stack of presents and a gnome on it this also um flips up to give you a journal space and this card has some um, tree a christmas tree with presents and um as you can see the cards have been stitched as well page eight is another um tag tuck with a little gnome and his goat and journal card has a large reindeer head on it cute reindeer head the reindeer these are from the um these are not in the gnome kit these are the other watercolor images here we have a top tuck uh with a gingerbread man on it says baking journal card has a candy cane that's page nine Whoop, doesn't want to go in there we go page 10 has a belly band that goes down um little gnome ho 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 it's got some tea bag on there this one also flips over for a journaling spot and then the um journal card has a Santa sleigh on it, a sledge. Number 11 is a side pocket with a gnome and some fabricing on it. Um, says belief. And on the journal card, we've got a North Pole sign with a little robin. I have to keep moving it. Then page 12. We've got a side pocket, which has a gnome with Santa's sleigh. It says sleigh rides, also flips open for a journal spot. And then the journal card has a little gnome on it as well. Page 13 is a tag tuck with a gnome and a reindeer. And a snowman on the journal card. Just move that ribbon over that's it. Then we have page 14 that has a crisscross pocket on it. It says Christmas wish, little gnome sitting in the on a log with um his little pig. And on this one there is a lantern. 14, 15 is a side pocket, there's a gnome and a pig with his um, Christmas tree I suppose, it says holy night and there's a little gnome on the journal card as well. On 16 has another um, tag tuck and on that journal card are some like um little berries 17 is a top tag tuck with um some baubles and a bow and on the journal card there's a little rabbit with some um christmas tree stick can't think of the name of the tree now pine tree with Christmas uh, page 18 we have a another corner pocket this one is of a little horse with his gnome uh, Christmas magic this one has a journal spot on it as well and the journal card just has a kind of like a poinsettia flower on it I suppose 19 is another belly band he's um sat by the fire with his hot chocolate it says warm and cozy this one also flips down so you've got a journal spot there and on the um journal card there is some holly and berries then we come to page 20 which is a top tuck with a little gnome on says let it snow um journal card 
has a little goat on it with some ribbons on his horns. I do like these images, they're so cute. I did enjoy making these, I actually I loved making these. I quite like making things that don't come in a kit now. Um, page 21 is a belly band again, which will flip open. This one's trimming the tree. And that's got some baubles on the gerbil card. Journal card. Gerbil. Journal card. Page 22 is a bottom long pocket. It's home for the, home for the holidays. And there's a little gnome stood outside his home. And there's a bigger gnome on the journal card. And then page 23 is a side pocket. It says Santa's on his way. Not long now. Little gnome with some baubles in his beard. And a little robin on the journal card. And then page 24 is a side pocket not it's not a side pocket it's a corner pocket that also flips up for a journal space it says twas the night before christmas with a little gnome out for his walk and inside you've got the little gnome sat with his pig on a log and then on the back cover is number 25 now with number 25 it's um a bit more involved because 25th of December is a busy day. You're going to have a lot of memories and probably a lot of photos and a lot to write about. So the 25th is not just one page. It is actually um, a little booklet. I will show you. First of all, it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. You open this out. See, now this was really inspired by... Um, scrap and coffee but it was quite fiddly because like I say I had to work out my own measurements so your flaps open out and down and there is a little removable folio booklet type thing for just for December the 25th so what I'm going to do is put this to one side so that I can show you the booklet so here is a booklet this is for the 25th on the front cover there is a side pocket with a little gnome and the 25th of December. In the pocket there is a tag with a journal spot and a journal card with a cup of hot chocolate on it. And then they kind of hold it closed so it opens out like this. On this side there is a journal spot for you. Here we have a tuck top tuck of a gingerbread man and in there is a journal card with a candy cane that goes in there and then this will flip up and underneath you have a journal spot down here we have a long pocket that says stockings and again these pockets you can tuck photos in here um, gift tags of what you received and little things that you want to keep there's plenty of writing space because the tags or journal cards have writing space. This one's got a sleeping gnome on it. And that goes down. And then this also flips down. So here or we have another top tag. Not tag, um, tuck spot. It's a top tuck spot with a journal card, special delivery. That goes in there. On the bottom half, there is a side pocket, naughty or nice. And in there is another tag with bells on. And a tag that says, just says Merry Christmas on a little circle. And again, these hold this shut, which then opens out. There is another journal spot on this side. And there is a side pocket on here that just says Christmas presents. Um, this one doesn't flip up because um, I didn't want to make... It was getting a bit too bulky, so I left it. But there is a journal card in there 
with a gnome on and like I say you can always um, put photos on these like when you take these out there's plenty of space to put photos or you could paste a bit of glue a piece of paper on to add more journaling spaces the choice is yours but there's plenty of room for Christmas Day and then to close it you close it like that then you will slip your journal card and your tag into the pocket and that will hold that shut for you then you can flip that back up do the same here flip them over put those in there's absolutely loads of space for the 25th hold that shut and then this will go back in here where it's keep it safe and then just wind your string around so it doesn't fall out and that's the 25th so yeah that's my um December daily I'm, I really like this one it's so different to anything else I've done I really hope you guys like it like I say this is going to be the last one I'm doing Christmas wise for this year it's getting a bit late now to get them out to people so this is going to go be, this will be listed in my shop and I will put a link in the description for that as well and um, I would obviously love to hear any feedback you would like to give on this because um, I do like to hear feedback. I like to hear your comments. I do try and answer as many as I can. Um, so, well, yeah, that's it. I'm going to start rambling again in a minute like I always do. <laughs> so please do like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will... Um, See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.